Ladies and gentlemen, I am Derek White, President and CEO of Ascot Resources. Over the next two minutes or so, I would like to walk you through a flyover of Ascot's gold projects. The Ascot gold properties are located in northwestern British Columbia near the port towns of Stewart, British Columbia and Hyder, Alaska, at the southern portion of the Golden Triangle. Ascot's projects are situated in the northern part of the Nishka lands. These lands are under the Nishka Treaty Agreement, the first modern treaty in British Columbia history. Ascot, as a proponent, is working together with the Nishka Systems government and the provincial regulators to prepare a permanent amendment application and build a long-term relationship based on mutual respect and partnership. Ascot's projects are divided into two parts, Premier and Red Mountain, which contain four underground deposits feeding a common mill infrastructure. At the Premier property, there are two mineralized ridges where hydrothermal and epithermal fluids have deposited gold in quartz breccia structures. This property contains 2.2 million ounces of gold and resources, of which 29% are contained in reserves. In the northeastern part of the property, there's a different geological boundary, similar to the geology at Estee Creek, with the potential for high-grade silver. Premier is a brownfield site with an existing processing facility which has operated historically at 2,850 tons a day. The company has completed a feasibility study, which includes a $55 million estimate to refurbish the mill, with a specific focus on the new grinding and crushing circuit. In addition to the processing plant, the site contains key infrastructure, including a tailings dam, spillway, road access, power plant, and water treatment plant located at the entrance of the property. The Red Mountain deposit is located 14 miles to the southeast of the Premier Mill and is in the same geologic units as Premier, but has a setting of higher sulfidation and contains fire, finer gold. There's an existing underground portal and the deposit was largely drilled from underground. This resource contains 783,000 ounces of gold, of which 68% is contained in reserves. The feasibility study processes the Red Mountain in year three of operations and transports the material down the lower portal and the Bridger Creek Valley to the main highway near Stewart. In conclusion, the Ascot Gold Project is an advanced stage development of a restart of a brownfield site with a projected plus 50% IRR, low initial capital and operating costs, and significant potential to grow in the future. Thank you very much, and please take note of our cautionary statements regarding forward-looking information.